director of road movie, Dev Benefit. If you are in the back or on the balcony, please wave your hands or call out so we know. Um, but uh, I wanted to uh, begin, Deb, by asking uh, you to reintroduce your terrific crew of people who helped to make this film. It's my wild bunch, and in fact there are some people from Toronto as well. We did quite a lot of work here, and they've sort of put their heart and soul into this film from Deluxe, the Voratrees, who should be here as well, I'm hoping that they came. Um, let me introduce the cast, um, Satish Koshi. vehicle of cinema. Can you tell us a little bit about how the story came uh, to be and, and your own love of movies? Tough question. Um, hmm. I'm sort of, oh, I don't know how to respond to this, but I kind of write in a very organic, haphazard manner and um, I think, well, let me just rephrase this. I think I was from a very early uh, time in my childhood just watching movies. In fact, I was almost, I felt like a prisoner of cinema. And my, I had weird parents who just threw me into a cinema hall when I was really young and then let me out when I was 18. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it was a bit of a torturous time I had. <clears throat> but um, you can see some of that in this. And um, I also love traveling. I just love, you know, it's this kind of nomadic life that we lead today. And um, I think it was the two of them that kind of just came together and I sat down one day and I said, there's so many things that I've seen and been through and maybe there's something in that and maybe I could just sort of write something. So that's how it came about. A um, question for Abe as well. Um, you have begun in the last few years to establish a reputation for independent films, films that are a little beyond the commercial mainstream in terms of Indian cinema, often playing anti-hero characters, characters who are a little more complicated than your typical uh, character in a, a hero in, a, in an Indian commercial film. Can you talk a little bit about what attracted you with this story and the script that Dick had written for you? Well, uh, in the sense of adventure, um, essentially, we had the script, I felt like, okay, it's really out there, it's going to look beautiful. And um, I, rel I related to the character in the sense that uh, I think all of us at some point have felt, okay, we want to get out there, we want to explore the world, we, you know, just to maybe um, explore different places, different people, just to get a better understanding of ourselves. That attracted me to the character and um, the sense of humor that ran through the whole script. And uh, Satish and Tanishta, uh, we saw you last year in Brick Lane, of course, acting together again in this film. Can you talk a little bit about um, how you came onto this project and what it what it meant for you? <laughs> they knew me as a singer in a girl band six years back, and they always threatened me, I want to write a role for you where I'll put you in an item number. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, when I came to Bombay after my training in National School of Drama, he was one of the first few people I met through a common friend. And ever since I'd seen English August, I wanted to work uh, with Dave, and it took us oh, so many years to work together. <laughs> um, the script, again, you know, uh, really was exciting, and like the things that Abhay has already pointed out, that the adventure and the humor and the fact that I couldn't relate to the character at all. I was like, who is she? Where is she coming from? And uh, why did she come from nowhere and then disappear into this like, you know, nowhere at all? And it's for me, you know, this particular character was just like a figment of imagination. And I found it quite interesting how to create this whole, uh, you know, gypsy woman who's not really rooted, which was Dave's instruction in 
you know, uh, very you know, specific Rajasthan, but more of a generic feel of a gypsy woman. And, and of course, uh, I, I've worked with Satish before, and uh, it was great to work with him again. And I've always admired Abhay's uh, choices of films, and we had a great time working. <coughs> and Satish? Yeah. <coughs> Hi, everyone. You know, this is a uh, this is one of the best promises today, which has been fulfilled. And I will thank Dev Benegal. The story goes long back, 1984, when I used to do bit roles in Cham Benegal's film, and Dev was chief AD there, you know, and he used to like me as an actor very much. And he always used to tell me, Satish, one day I am going to take you in a feminine lead role, in a, in a very major role. But he kept on making films. He made English Hoggers, then he made Spread Wide Open, but the thing was still open for me, you know. I was not getting any room. <laughs> <laughs> and one day suddenly, out of the blue, he called me from New York. He took uh, my number for somewhere else. He did uh, have my number only also. And he said, Satish, the time has come. You know, congratulations, I saw your brick lane, but it is not that because of brick lane I'm doing, I'm fulfilling my promise. And really, he took me in this role and it, I was very pleased to do uh, this role because uh, to come from the kind of Indian audiences that are sitting here, they have seen me on funny, funny roles, you know. <laughs> which I have regained you all, but this is something else and I belong to this. And I thank Dave Banagal uh, for really giving me this opportunity to come into this film and uh, do certain kind of work which I like and which I belong to, you know. Tanishtha Avedeon is uh, everyone knows it is a is an actor who's uh, you know breaking paths in uh, Indian films. You know I really admire this boy and I really respect him for what he does. You know Tanishtha has done Brooklyn with me. Uh, the good parts I've enjoyed that I enjoy working with her, with her. But in both the films, you know she has been kissing the other guys. So, <laughs> It's more fun. Uh, every time I used to see the old, you know, the Bollywood films, you know, and fast forward the songs, and I didn't want to be that guy and fast forward. Um, but essentially, yeah, it's essentially more fun. I, I, I like to do films that, you know, go towards uncharted territory. I like to explore different ideas, you know, and um, uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank now. <laughs> uh, it's just. It's exploration. It's it's the desire to to try and raise the bar um, as as an actor, as an artist. It's, it's that's what charges me forward. And I didn't think I'd be capable of being a Bollywood hero either. I was like, no, that's not for me. <laughs> 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 